So in this example, it is given that a cell of EMF E and internal resistance R is connected across a variable resistor R and we have to plot a graph showing the variation of terminal voltage V of the cell versus the current flowing through the circuit. Now we just have to plot a graph between the voltage and the current I. So first let's see what is the effective voltage that this battery can provide of EMF E. So if this is the battery, it has EMF E and it has an internal resistance small r and we are not drawing the whole circuit. So the voltage given by this would be the potential difference between these two points. So we say this is A and this is B and now we write the Kirchhoff uh, according to the Kirchhoff voltage loop like we start from A and I write VA. Now that I am going towards the right so there is a drop of E voltage then if I assume that there is a current flowing through this that is say I for which you have to plot so I is the current flowing through the loop so here because the current is flowing in this direction uh, in I am going in the opposite direction of the current so that I will not find the potential drop uh, on the resistor it would be equal to plus IR and then I have raised the point B so this I will write it as equal to BB so when I simplify this I find the actual potential difference that the battery is creating so that would be equal to v, VA minus VB equals to E minus IR so this is the effective voltage that this battery is providing us so now I can write this as V is equals to E minus I R. Now if I have to plot between V and I, like V and I, so it is a linear relationship as we can see because E is a constant and R resistance is also constant. So here this would be a small r. So this is of the form of Y is equals to MX plus C. So let's uh, see mathematically what y is equal to mx plus c is. For example, if you have a curve like this, this is y axis, this is x axis. And if your line looks like this, so you will say if this is equal, y is equal to mx plus c, then you will say that this intercept is of the length c. So here c is negative and the slope, the slope, the tan theta of this line will be equal to m so that's how it is so similarly for uh, this equation we see that there's a positive y intercept that is equal to e and there's a negative slope that is equal to r so if we plot it we would get it in such a way that this is the y axis and this is the x axis so on the uh, y axis we are plotting e and on the uh, x axis we are plotting the current so the uh, this is the y intercept that is e and the slope is negative as we know because uh, the value of small r will be a positive quantity so minus r is negative slope so minus r is negative slope so we can clearly see that the graph would look like this so that is that is how we will uh, plot a uh, plot a graph in a question like this